we want to make a declaration that this is a place where we experience healing, where we experience miracles. Thank you, Jesus, that indeed you come alive in us, oh God. Healing comes alive in us, oh God. Restoration is made alive in us, oh God. We are made alive in the Lord. Come and lift your voice in exaltation of our King, our Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace. Emmanuel is his name. We worship you, Jesus. This is a house of worship. This is a place of praise Where every demon trembles Where we proclaim your name This is a house of healing Our hearts are full of faith You have a full attention You have a final say So come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. You are such a good God. You are such a great God, Jehovah. There is no one like you. You are highly exalted, Jehovah God. You are high and lifted up. You are the lofty one, the one who is above every situation, Jehovah God. The one who is uh, over all, the one who is over all situations, King of glory, the one who cannot be confounded by anything, the one who cannot be confused by anything, the one who cannot be distracted or misled by anything or by anyone, our Father and our God, who is perfect in all his ways, who is perfect in his word, who is perfect in his promises, who is perfect in his character and nature. Oh Lord Jehovah, we gather online this morning to adore you, to bless you, my Father. Whichever timeline people are joining us, Almighty God, to pray with us. Father, we don't take it for granted. Your name be glorified. Your name be magnified, our Father. Thank you for the gift of life, O oh God. Thank you for the gift of health. Thank you for the gift of strength, my Father, and more so an opportunity, my Father, to pray together. Thank you for the salvation that we have in Christ Jesus, oh God, for we know salvation that we have, oh my Father, is a gift from you. Oh, we bless you today. Thank you for the gift of good health. Thank you for the gift of family, my Father, friends and fellowship. To you be the glory. These are your deeds and your doing, so mighty God, and they are marvelous in our eyes, and we can just say thank you and bless your name. So, Father, O King of glory, may you continue with us, my Father, even as you have lifted up our spirits in the worship, dear God, as we continue in prayer. May you minister to us. May you encourage us, our God. We surrender ourselves to you. Thank you for the forgiveness of sins. Come and have your way in our midst, O God. Oh, mighty Father, those who are tuning in and joining for this prayer, may they encounter with the living God. May they encounter with the power of the resurrected Christ. May they encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit, the indwelling Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. Jehovah, we love you. Father, we bless you. Thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for calling us your friends. Thank you so much for writing our names in the book of life. Thank you so much for having our faces inscribed on the palm of your hands, O oh God. Thank you so much for the plan that you have for us to prosper us, Almighty Father, not to harm us, to give us a hope and a future. What a wonderful God you are. We identify with you this day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Wow, we thank God for yet another opportunity to join online 
and continue praying and continue trusting our God. This week, we are going to be looking at Psalm 27. Yes, that beautiful, wonderful Psalm of David, Psalm 27. And you're going to have various ones of us just coming and, and encouraging us uh, with a devotion and leading us in prayer with some of, uh, of the verses. And actually, we're going to cover the entire chapter. And actually, um, David, the, the, the theme of this verse is basically to show us that God offers us help, not only today, not only tomorrow, but even for the future. And one thing that stands out is that unwavering confidence in God is our antidote for the fears we might have in life, the uncertainty, and the loneliness. And so today we are going to look at verse 1. Verse 1, Psalm 27, verse 1. I'm reading from the NIV version. So let us read together. This is what it says. Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? That's a question that David is asking us in this psalm. During his stay on earth and during his battles and during his, uh, his times of running away from King Saul when his life was in danger, we, 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 we cannot be confidently sure of when this was written, but we believe it was during that time when he was going through turmoil and, and tough times in his life. And he penned this psalm, these beautiful words, this beautiful song he sang to the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I know all of us, or most of us, if not all, have at one time or another in their lives uh, faced a fear of some kind. Maybe a fear of rejection, maybe fear of uncertainty, maybe fear of the unknown of the future, maybe fear of uh, misunderstanding, fear of being misquoted. You know, there are so many fears that plague people. Maybe fear of sickness or even fear of death. David had his own fears then, but then he realized something, that when the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Because the things we fear, the fear affects our confidence in God. The fear affects our, our even identity in God. The fear affects our walk. The fear affects our witness. The fear affects our testimony. The fear affects our being church agents in the world, so to speak. David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And so today, I want us to go to God in prayer and declare those words to God. Whom shall I fear? God, you are my light. You are my salvation. When the Lord is your light, he lights your path, meaning that you're able to see where you are going. You're able to see where you are headed. And when the Lord is your salvation, you need not to fear. He will save you from the fowler. He will save you from the enemies, as we shall be looking at the whole chapter, even in the coming week. So let us pray. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, our Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you, Lord Jehovah, that you are our light and our salvation. There is no other God who is like you. You are God who is our strength and our security. You are God who is our stronghold, oh God. You are God who is our peace, almighty oh Father. You are God who is our providence and our protector. None can compare to you, King of glory. Oh Lord, we bless your holy name. We join the psalmist today, our God, to declare and decree that, Lord, you are our light. You are our salvation, my Father, for those plagued by fear, fear of any kind, my God. Some, oh God, who are joining us and watching us, my Father, they have the fears, oh dear God. Maybe it is fear, Lord, of being sacked, oh God. Fear of being laid off from the workplace, my Father. Fear of not getting the full salary, my God. Fear of, 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 of suppliers, oh mighty Father, not coming through. Oh mighty God, fears of financial insecurities, oh dear Father, Jehovah God, many fears are plaguing your people. Fear of sickness, 
sickness when they go out, oh God, fear of being um, infected, oh dear Father, even fear of COVID itself, dear God, fear of death itself, my Father, many fears are plaguing us, oh God, in this day and time, my Father, but like David, we want to come to you and declare that God is our light and our salvation, whom shall we fear? Lord, you are telling us that if you are our light, you will lighten our paths, you will illuminate our, our paths, my Father, we will see where we are going, Jehovah God, we will not fear, mighty Father, whatever comes our way, because you are our light and our salvation, and like the psalmist to say elsewhere, dear Father, we will not fear the arrow that flies by day, we will not fear the plague that strikes by midday, we will not fear the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, O God, for Jehovah, you will be our surrounding, David will continue to say, the Lord is my stronghold, of whom shall I be afraid, Father, King of glory, adversaries are many, enemies are many, the devil is there attacking our salvation, not wanting us to walk in your ways, my Father, wanting us to fail, Almighty God, wanting us to fall in our temptations, dear Father, wanting us to be destroyed, oh dear Father God, in our going astray, King of glory, but Lord, you are our stronghold. You are our strength. When we are weak, oh God, and we cry out to you, you are our strength, oh Father. Right now, many are weak because of sickness. Many are weak, oh mighty Father, because of the news they have heard. Many are weak because their loved ones are in hospital. Many are weak because their loved ones have passed on. Many are weak because they don't know about tomorrow or even about today. Sakaya, oh Jehovah in heaven, have mercy, God. Come down, oh mighty Father, envelop us with your strength. You are our strength, Jehovah. We declare you are our strength, and we look to you. You are our security, and we look to you. Our friends are not our security, our finances are not our security. Oh God Almighty, our marriages are not our security, my God. You are our security, and we look up to you today to secure us, uh, to save us, uh, to strengthen us, my God. Uh, oh, we love you, Jesus. We honor you. We give you praise. Yes, Lord. Fear, Lord God. We are not able, my Father, to, to, in, to, to be immune even to fear. Fear will come anyhow, Lord. But, Lord, you are telling us today you are the antidote when we trust in you, oh God, trusting in you, depending upon you, looking to you, Jehovah, having confidence in you, God Almighty, whose word is perfect and sure, oh God, that is the antidote against fear. That is the antidote against loneliness. That is the antidote against confusion. That is the antidote against destruction. And so, Lord, today we speak strength right now. Strength right now, Father, for that widow. Strength for that husband, oh God. Strength, my Father, for that young person. Strength in the name of Jesus for that family, Jehovah who are fearful that their property will be taken away. Oh my God, they have not been able to pay that loan. You are mighty, you are powerful. Whom shall they fear? You are their light and their salvation. They are stronghold, they are strength. Come through for them in the name of Jesus. That one in hospital, my God. Oh, it doesn't matter what the doctors have said. Oh, it doesn't matter, Jehovah. You are their strength right now. They will not fear King of glory. They will not fear what will happen because you are their light and their salvation. Father, we bless you. Oh, continue reminding us that you are our light and you are our salvation, our strength, our stronghold, my God. Therefore, we shall not fear. We are going to march in power, march in victory. Our heads held high, our chest, oh dear Father, brother, and our shoulders lifted up, knowing that the Lord is on our side. And if the Lord be on our side, who can be against us. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much, O oh God, for being our light, our salvation, our strength, and our stronghold. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, do we pray and believe. We open our eyes and we say amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. Keep being encouraged. Know that the Lord is your light. May he illuminate your path and illuminate your life. And if you are not born again, receive Jesus that he may become your light and your salvation. God bless you.